Good morning, FHS. I'm Chelsea. And I'm Megan with your Thursday announcements. If you see a band member, wish them good luck as both the concert band and the wind ensemble perform at the MMEA Concert Band Clinic on Friday. The clinic, hosted by Fallerville High School, will feature bands from all over the area and give students a chance to perform in front of each other and college band directors. The concert band will perform at 1 p.m. and the wind ensemble will perform at 5 p.m. Students, unless you are a band student, you are not allowed to be in the Fine Arts Wing on Friday. The Elverson Center and Fine Arts Wing will be used for MMEA Concert Band Clinic and will be off limits to all FHS students. This includes before and after school. Juniors, if you are interested in participating in the University of Michigan Flint dual enrollment program next year, your application is due to the counseling office by February 24th. Reminder that all the Yankee Candle order forms and money are due. Please turn in any that you have by Friday to Mr. Hardenbrook or Ms. Nabosny. If you have not bought your yearbook, time is running out. The cost is $60 and you can order it by going to smartpay.com or fill out an order form found in the office or Mrs. Hardenbrook's room D214. Don't miss out on this year's memories. Only a few extra are sent each year and they are always sold out fast. Contact Mrs. Hardenbrook with any questions. Students that are interested in competing for track and field and were unable to attend the informational meeting, they are there are information packets and sign-ups available in the athletic office. Stop by at lunch or in between classes and sign up. The first day of practice is Monday, March 13th. The archery teams will be traveling to Heartland this weekend for their regional tournament. Good luck to all the archers as they work to qualify for the state and national tournaments. Fallerville trailed Charlotte all game and long until Caden Collins drove the lane and earned three points in the old-fashioned way with about four seconds left in the game. Caden's three points gave the Gladiators a 66-65 to 65 lead. Nick Semke then stole the inbounds pass and was fouled. He converted one free throw and the Gladiators won 67-65. to 65. The Gladiators trailed by as much as 10 with four minutes left in the game before their defensive pressure was able to take over the game. The boys' JV basketball team lost a tough battle to Charlotte on Wednesday night, 53-48. We had a seven-point lead midway through the fourth quarter, but could not close the deal. Shaw Sova led the way with 12 points, and Josh Dufour added 11. Nick Reason grabbed eight rebounds, and Caden Flannery had six. They play their last CIAC game on Thursday night at home versus Lansing Catholic. A note on the lost and found. It's overflowing. Please stop by the lost and found near the lunchroom doors and see if any of it's yours. Now let's hear about Cinderella's Closet. Attention FHS, do you have any new or gently used formal dresses that you could donate? If so, help a girl out. So this year, Kelsey Thompson and I are running another dress drive, which is affiliated with Cinderella's Closet. They're also partnered with La Casa, which is a great organization. We won last year, we want to win this year. And the cool thing is, is if you donate the most dresses, you could win an awesome prize. So donate your dresses on February 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. Thank you. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, FHS. I'm Chelsea. And I'm Megan, signing off.